hit record because we got important stuff to talk about. Um, Nikki and I are so excited, I'm trying to like have everything open on my screen all at one time. Nikki and I are so excited uh, to talk to you guys about this stuff. We have a extremely special guest speaker here who's going to be hopping on in just a minute. Uh, but first, we wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea what to expect from this call. I know um, so many of you guys are excited to hear from Doug and hear just from like a founding coach and someone who's been so crazy successful in building residual wealth in coaching and in network marketing. But first, we want to tell you guys kind of why we invited him to speak and um, a really, really cool learning opportunity we have for you. Are you ready to dive in, Nikki? Okay, go ahead and start. Oh, I don't see her. She looks frozen. All right, can you guys hear me? Okay, cool. Yeah, my wife is um, a little so. Okay, so we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about um, the vision we have for this, what it's going to be, what it can be for you, hopefully what it can be for our team. Um, so the, the whole thing is called Everybody Wins. It's called the Everybody Wins Strategy, and our little mantra for it is Everybody Wins in 2019. So um, what this is, is it's going to be a new business strategy, basically, an, another way to build your coaching business, grow your income, another way to get recognition, all of those kind of things. Um, it's not like a black and white thing where this is something that's gonna be so completely different that you can't run your business the way you did before, you absolutely can um, still use all the knowledge you already have. This is just going to be um, probably something that busts your brain open tonight. So I hope that you guys are ready. I hope that you guys are awake. I hope that you're paying attention. You've got a pen and paper by you because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be good. I, we shared this with the Star Diamonds um, in Better United and all of them were like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's going to be incredible for you guys too. Okay. So I want to start by kind of going over what you already know, the traditional um, beach buddy way of building your business, which is a really high focus on challenge packs, right? You come in as a coach, what, what do you learn? You learn this method of sharing my journey, inviting people to join me, finding, you know, three to five challengers, running a challenge group. Everybody's familiar with this, right? Nod your head if this sounds familiar. Good, all right. And that has been a way of building business that has served us for a long time. But I know that not all of you guys um, are up to date on your beach by history or, or have even been here long enough to know, but before challenge packs were even a thing, Beachbody had a thriving coaching business for years. Challenge packs and challenge troops are a relatively new thing. You know, like they had kind of just gotten started right before I got started as a coach in 2013. Before that, coaches built their businesses completely to high levels without without challengers without successful points without challenge groups every month and that was actually more of the traditional way of building network marketing where you sign up you sign up your spouse you sign a friend you get to emerald everybody does the same thing you guys have probably heard on like you know old trainings from network marketing gurus that kind of method and what we're gonna introduce here is kind of a way of merging these two things together and you can find your balance in it um, but the whole point is for you to make more money faster and for you to make more money than you ever have as a coach this year in 2019 that's why it's called everybody wins in 2019 all right <laughs> I'm gonna toss it over to Nikki who's gonna kind of give you a quick little breakdown before Doug talks so you have an understanding of even what we're going to be talking about as far as volume is concerned. Okay, guys, I'm having a little bit of Wi-Fi issues, so if I freeze for a minute, I'm so sorry. But I wanted to really quick before we dive in with Doug, I just wanted to kind of touch a little bit on volume because I know with the past, we've been focusing so much on Success Club and all that. Sometimes we just ignore the volume. We know it's there. We focus more on the personal volume, but we want to talk to you about team volume. And some of you guys might not even realize this, but there is a difference between volume. And I'm going to share my screen really quick and show you where you can find the differences and kind of how this is a way that's going to help everybody 
um, have wins. And that's why we call it everybody wins. Let me share my screen really quick. So this is an example of the US price list. If you go, you actually just can Google Beachbody product list or Beachbody price list, and I'll take you to the FAQ. You can get the US, the uh, Canada, and the UK price list. And you'll see every single thing that we sell, and you'll see how much it retails for, what our coach price is, and then you'll see these two columns. You'll see your personal volume and your team volume. And so what this means is that when you sell any of these products or you buy any of these products, there's a team volume amount attached to it. And that volume amount is get applied to every single person that's ab above you in the, um, in your, uh, in the binary plan. So when you sign up somebody and they sell, um, just say they go to mindset challenge pack, that's, 55 team volume for you that's 55 team volume for anybody that's above them so look at the difference here i just want to show you really quickly the difference between the 2b mindset and shakeology challenge back that's going to help everybody earn 55 team volume points but if we scroll down and we go to just the 2b mindset base pack it's down here. i just want to show you the difference here do 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 here we go. Did I freeze? <laughs> 89 team volume points for just the base kit. So the base kit is going to help your team and yourself have more team volume than the challenge pack. So I don't think a lot of people realize that, but when there's a discount with the Shakeology and the workout or the nutritional program, that discount is being taken out of your team volume. Um, which not a lot of people realize. So it's not the company being like, hey, here's a discount. It's like it's coming out of your, your pocket, your, your volume and um, your team's volume. And so later after Dog Talks, I'm going to kind of break it down for you and show you how this can add up in a really big and fast way when you start focusing on meeting the customer where they're at and not always pushing the challenge back. Yes, it's a great deal for the customer, but how many times have you run into somebody who's just not ready yet for that challenge pack commitment? And instead of helping them just with the base kit, you maybe just say, oh, come back to me when you're ready. So we want to kind of switch our mindset around the old way of thinking and introduce this new way of thinking for you guys. So did you want to add anything to that, Becca? Awesome. Okay, if you guys have any questions too, because this might be a little bit confusing, um, make sure you just put them in the chat, but I want to go ahead and, um, Doug, are you ready? No. Uh, we'll find oh, I okay. So, but you have to Sorry, I had to mute everybody because we had weird sound coming in from somewhere, so I just muted you, Nikki, and Doug. All right, uh, let me do a quick introduction. I know you guys read his write-up in the event. Um, but Doug Couch is here. He's a founding coach, uh, and which means he's like literally the first people ever to start as a beach body coach. So he has been here through all the iterations of beach body coaching. He has um, he has all these incredible accolades under his belt. Like, have his team has had. Um, all these different Beachbody Challenge winners, um, they've really, really helped people to change their lives and get healthy without challenge packs and without challenge groups. He was the first Beachbody million dollar earner. And you guys, he did it in 17 months. 17 months, right? Crazy. Um, and <laughs> beyond that, he has kept his business going, kept his business growing, and built an incredible residual income that means that he doesn't have to be chained to his phone, chained to his computer day after day, week after week, month after month, which is the brilliant and beautiful thing about network marketing. That's why people get into network marketing. People don't get into this to work 16 hour days forever. They get into it to work really hard for a couple years and then to be able to have that work-life balance and enjoy the life of their dreams. So Doug is going to share a little bit of his story and a little bit about this model that we're talking about as um, just kind of some really cool insider perspective for you guys. So go ahead, Doug. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Can you hear me? Am I good? Okay. Yep. I, I do have a delay. So forgive me if I over talk anybody or anything like that. I'm out here on my ranch and uh, 
that's one thing living away from everybody. Your internet's horrible. So <laughs> forgive me if it's slow to respond. But let me give you a real quick, um, I don't want to get into all the stuff I did. I used to be the guy on stage every week at every show. And they came with cameras to my house, done with that stuff. That was the first three years of the company. And I pulled myself into the shadows uh, on purpose because I was getting that income to go do other things I wanted to do. Uh, I actually started with Beachbody in 2001. At one time, um, I won the first transformation contest and I took on the name coach. And for a long time, I, 10 years in Beachbody, I was just known as coach. For a long time, I was the only coach, okay? In 2006, the end of 2006, Carl called me and said, hey, I know you don't like us anymore, which I didn't because I got into it with him. <laughs> and he said, but come here, we got this idea. And I go, okay. And they always had great integrity at Beachbody, so I always, I always believed them, you know. I was just a teacher as a high school coach and, um, um, and art teacher. And uh, um, they said, do this. Um, we really don't have anything for you. Uh, you can't, nobody can earn any money yet. Maybe in the future people will earn money. We have one workout really that we want you to push. It's called P90X. At that point, it was a failure. Nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted P90X. We, they weren't selling it. Company was struggling, and we had a couple other workouts. And they go, look, we got these crappy vitamins, but they're fantastic. Sell them. <laughs> and tell people eventually they can make money. And so that's what we did. That was our training. That was it. And I, I never networked before. You know, I'm like, okay. So I walked out of there, and I said, Carl, I'm going to make you a billionaire. And um, I blew it up really fast. And I want a disclaimer. I don't know if I was the first millionaire or not. Um, I did because the way I worked it, I worked my, with my wife's business center at the same time. So we got to that million dollar point really fast because we had the combined income. So as a combined income, we may have been the first. As an individual, I don't know. I didn't care. The money was going to the same bank account. So that's a little bit of my history. You know, I, I coach the first transformation winners. If you log into Hammer and Chisel, you'll see my pictures. They're still up there from that the last time they asked me to do anything um, for a transformation. Uh, so I've done everything. I've been successful on all ends. So, but what I did that and why people are saying, hey, can you get on our calls? Can you get on our calls? Can I get on your calls? Not only was I a teacher, but for, I had just gone back to teacher, being a teacher. I was a strategist for the school district for eight years, and I just did strategy. And so that's my thing. That's what my master's degree is in. That's my thing is strategy. But people call me back and they're like, look, Doug, or coach, and a lot of people just call me coach. Um, you hardly had any products. You have way less than we have right now, okay? You, your internet was 10 times worse than ours. You really didn't have hardly any social media at all. I actually didn't have social media. You had a bulletin board. How did you make so much money in so quick a time, which was residual, meaning I wasn't running challenge groups. In fact, to this day, I try to run one challenge group and it lasted like a week. And I'm like, you guys are crazy. I ain't doing all this work, no way. So <laughs> you wanna watch me work out, great, log in. I ain't doing this stuff, but look, at the same time I'm teaching you guys this stuff, I'm not down shooting what you're doing right now at all, okay? It's great, it's fantastic. A lot of people made a lot of money with challenge groups. What I am doing is I'm showing you a happy medium, okay? I'm gonna tell you about a happy medium. And what I've been teaching other teams, we some of the elite coaches came to me around November, I believe it was, and said, can you help us develop this system? And I'm like, absolutely, because I want to learn how to recruit now because I don't know social media. You know, I would like to bring in some new blood. There's always more money to be made. Why not? I'm, I'm fresh. I've taken 10 years off. I'm good to go again. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> so we hit this. So, and, and, it, and I've been working with some wonderful elite coaches and, and basically they're like, look, we're not even focused on elite, but we'll let it happen organically. So it's still going to happen for them probably but organically, meaning they're taking their focus off and, and they're focusing on team volume. So what I'm gonna tell you right now is when you joined Beachbody, if you joined to make money, there's something everybody told you. 
And they said, stop thinking inside the box, the nine to five box, okay? And so what I'm gonna ask you right now to come into my world a little bit, stop thinking in the challenge group box because you're in another box and there's a lot of ways to make money, all right? And we're the only network that does challenge groups and they're fine. Um, they have lost steam. Part of every company goes through cycles, okay? Challenge groups have lost steam. Um, we hear it all the time. I'm doing twice as much work and getting half, half of what I used to get. And it's nothing wrong with Beachbody. It's nothing wrong with the comp plan. We're still in a world where in 2016 we had a transition. Beachbody's view on that transition was, and I talked to Michael Neiman for about an hour and a half last week about it, was that Facebook changed their algorithms and everything else. And there was election at that time and we hit hard times. I have a little different view, I believe that true, but I have a little different view that something happened to the Emeralds at that time, where we took away uh, uh, the lead pro program from the Emeralds and made them make Success Club. That's my opinion, which is a strong opinion, which I'll prove on paper. <laughs> but, but if you wanna see what happened, so basically, the other mistake they made is when BOD came in, you had a, um, we used to get bumps from new DVD cells, okay? We lost that bump. And then when they, they corrected that with these coach sneaks, and we actually built this into this program and we'll talk about in a minute. The problem is right now is you have that bump, but once that bump's gone, we used to come back down at a higher step because we had a base of emeralds that kept building, okay? Now, you come back after a bump and you come back here at the same spot or lower because you got to wait for the next momentum to grow. And so we're going to correct that. We can correct that. So basically, have an open mind and make some decisions on what you want to do. Because to be successful in this business, you have to be what's called selective aggressive. So I'm going to talk about three ways to look at this. And when you find one that fits for you, be very aggressive. Select it and be aggressive. Because one of the problems we have is that this system we've been teaching, we've had, we taught, we've been teaching it for about three, three months with little sample groups, and then we've had a lot of success. But at the same time, we're telling people don't worry about success flow. And I hope no, nobody kills me on this, but <laughs> we, we talk about don't worry about that. That doesn't mean don't take action, okay? So we're saying you still gotta take daily action. You still gotta invite, you gotta do that stuff. So here are the three, real quick. One, you focus on success club recognition. Now when you do that, you're going to be in what's called an affiliate mode. Meaning you're gonna make good money if you work it hard, but it's money you gotta work hard for and you have to work constantly for it. Now there is some team of volume associated with it, but not that much, okay? So you have to work hard for it. So it's like, you wanna go get the berries off the tree. You gotta keep picking, all right? You eat one, gotta pick. Eat one, pick. It's never ending. You're gonna have to always pick, okay? Now sometimes your back basket will get a little full, but you eat them all and then you gotta keep picking again. So you're always constantly working for it. The second way that we've been teaching is team volume. Team volume is differently than personal volume. Team volume is volume that everybody above you gets. Personal volume, that's just for you, okay? Personal volume is very big with the first system I mentioned, which is Success Club. You make a lot of that first in commission, okay? Affiliate action, all right? Team volume is not Team build, I mean, team volume is team building where personal volume isn't, all right? And the third way is both. And can we do both? Absolutely. Now, if you don't do both the smart way, you're gonna have to spend 12 to 14 hours on the computer every day to be successful trying to do both. Because there are people in this company, and it's very small when you see them ran across the stage constantly that do both very well. Not me, <laughs> that's too much work. If I can find a happy medium at a lower level, combining both of them, 
That's what I want to do. And that's what this system's about. It's not, not abandoning anything except a mindset. The only thing you're abandoning is a mindset. So what you have with team volume, okay? We're going to talk about seasons. So we have two seasons. One's called blue season. One's called gold season. I'm sorry I don't have slides ready for you guys, but I'm sure uh, your leaders will share that stuff with you. Okay? And then we have what's called couponing. All right? So our idea, now again, guys, when we talk about money stuff, the disclaimer, Beachbody, got to go there. Okay? I don't know if you guys posted on your videos or not. Also on policy, when you do something, what I'm going to tell you to do, you have to make sure you're within policy and that's your job. So if I say something, that's up for, for you to keep updated on because policy does change, okay? So how do we get these two worlds together? And I'm gonna jump back real quick, I'm sorry, but I just wanna make this real clear. When I was in this early and I was out making money, the comp plan did change, and it's changed a little bit over the years. And I actually was on the cab, so I actually helped write this current comp plan you're in right now. So I know really well. So that 250 cap on emeralds, sorry. <laughs> but uh, hey, um, so, but back at that time before Challenge Patch, you guys, all the recognition was based on building emeralds. We had success club starters, so our volume exploded because nothing was happening in our business centers. Everything was happening below us. Well, something happened. The social media came out, and Beachbody recognized, hey, let's take full advantage of it, which they did. They're smart. And people are smart, jumped on that wagon at the time. I didn't. I was sad. I was making my residual income. I'm not doing any more work, okay? So they invented challenge packs. Now, what they did for challenge packs to make them beautiful, they look gorgeous, you know, to buy, you get a great deal. They took the money out of your pocket, okay? The money came not out of their pocket. It came out of team volume. So they're able to reduce the front end of the challenge pack, that's why it's cheaper. It's not, they're making the same amount of money. The difference is, look at the team volume, okay? Do your own homework. Take a challenge pack, look at the team volume. Now take those products separately and look at the team volume. You'll be like, I ain't selling no more challenge packs. <laughs> okay guys, so that's where that came in. So that world came, so now the recognition went to affiliate action. Also, women are much better at social media than men. So now we have this system that's just exploding and everything happened, was going really good until that, that middle changed, that emerald incentive, that base changed. And that's what happened. And that's, if you're making less money than you were in 2016, that's why, okay? So what do we do? We change. So I want you to have that, that view of this because that's real, that did happen, okay? So now we're in this new world. We're doing good. I talked to Michael last week. The network right now, volume's up 10% right now as of last week. So we're in a good spot. There's new products coming. I, I, there's guy products coming. There, most of you guys kind of have hints of what else is coming at Summit, which I can't say, but there's stuff to draw men back in coming, and there's other mid-range products that we need. So all this stuff is there, but how do we take a full advantage of it, okay? So now we're going back to blue and gold seasons, two seasons. So we're going to make this really simple. And your leaders, your leaders, you know, they can, they can guide you in this as a team. The, 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 the problem with what I'm going to tell you right now, if you're into recognition, you're going to have to get it from your team because corporate will not give you recognition for this, all right? There's no record. Why would they? You know, you're, they're, they're going to have to pay more. <laughs> you're going to make more. So they're not, they want what any corporate corporation wants is they want to make more. Okay. So, but Beachbody, you know, they're a good company. They want you to make money. Everybody in corporate wants you to make money, but you know, they're on a, they got to show their holders and stuff more profit and, so forth like this. So anyway, so a gold season, you guys, and this is a tricky part. 
Uh, and a gold season is actually when there's no incentive to sell a challenge pack. And when I mean by incentive, incentive that is like we just came out of the the uh, the food thing. Sorry, <laughs> the ultimate food thing, version nine. Okay, <laughs> and and you got to sign people up as a coach because it's a sneak peek early thing, right? So yeah, 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 that was an incentive, right? That is an incentive to sell a challenge pad because now we're getting these people in, okay? And by the way, you guys, when I do blue and gold, they never not exist in each other's worlds. So they are always present, both versions. It's just which one you leave with, all right? So let me tell you real quick about couponing, all right? Let me tell you real quick, when you guys go to Michael's, most of you guys have Michael's. Me, I'm a Harbor Freight person because I have other companies that we build monsters and cool stuff for uh, theme parks and stuff. So, um, you know how to use a coupon, right? When you go to a store, when you go to a store, you don't have a coupon. Unless that clerk is a really kick-ass clerk and I'm like hey you're like or they're trying to pick up on you or something you know they're not giving you a coupon at the cash register right you're buying your stuff okay you're going up there they're not saying here's a coupon oh and by the way that 10 percent comes off out of my pay they don't do that and when you lead with a challenge pack that's what you're doing okay when you leave with a challenge pack, you're actually saying, you know what, this sell is going to be easier. I'm going to do this, so I'm going to do challenge pack. Okay, let me give you a real quick mindset. I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over you guys, but I'm sure your leaders will make it clear later. <laughs> let me give you a mindset, and I can't even think right now. <laughs> Look, I'm drinking Energize. It's my eighth one of the day. I'm all over the place, man. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah, do I got a yellow mustache? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> your coupons, right? And if you guys see me at Summit, say hi. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> Just say hi. I hope everybody's going to Summit. But so you have a coupon. The challenge pack is a coupon. One of the things that everybody says to me is say, hey, coach, how can you not leave with a coupon? Aren't you just servicing your customers? because the best still is a challenge pack. And I'm like, wait a second. If I went to the car lot and I went to go buy a Volkswagen and the dealer's like, there's a Mercedes over there. I'll give you 25% off on that Mercedes. I know you only need this $10,000 car. But right now I'll give you bells and whistles and everything you need, even probably you don't need it. And you just gotta pay three times as much. It's not a disservice. Most of the time people buy a challenge pack, they're not gonna use most of the stuff, bottom line, all right? Now I'm not saying don't sell challenge packs, so let me get caught up to that, okay? I just want you to give this mindset to you. So my whole goal in Beachbody, why I was so good at it, was because I believed in it. I believed in the mission. I've never sold a thing in my life before Beachbody. I wouldn't even order a pizza on the phone. I'd make my wife do it, okay? So my whole idea is what's best for the customer. And for a lot of customers, the best is to start off with BOD quarterly because there's more volume in that than yearly. I don't want to sell them yearly. I lose money if I sell them yearly. Okay. Now, when I say I lose money, it's never about me. It's about my team. Because when I sign a coach up or anything up like that, it goes to my lowest business center. All right. If it's my spouses and I'm within policy, it's going through there every cell, okay? Because the lower I can get the volume in the tree, the more my coaches get a piece of it. And you know what happens when your Emerald coaches or your regular coaches have volume? They get happy because they start making those little checks. And it's a win-win for everybody. Everybody matters. Everybody counts. Why go two-star? Two stars, the most powerful rank there is because you can take another business center and throw it all the way down to the bottom of your tree. And when you do that, 
everybody you sign that you said, I'm going to help you, you really are helping them. Okay. Or if you haven't signed up your spouse, you throw them as low as you can or family member, you plus two within policy. All right. And this is where it bites you with Success Club because guess where the points go? If you get a two star, they still go to you. So you still make Success Club. If you're not, and you're doing out your spouse or family member, guess who's going to make success club? <laughs> your spouse. So they're going to be, hey, I just won something. I don't know. <laughs> I got a cool hat. <laughs> you're like, yeah, but I got more money. Okay. <laughs> so I got more money. So in gold season, which would be when there's nothing, no corporate incentive to sign up anybody under a challenge pack, I'm going to lead with small products. Okay, now remember I said, I don't want to leave off a coupon, right? So I'm gonna say, hey, you wanna try Energize? And you guys, the people that are making, like, I don't wanna throw names, but I know what some people are doing and they are doing this organically anyway, okay? So they're being loved by corporate, but they're doing this anyway, where they're actually doing this both directions. And, and I think by talking to some of the top coaches, they did it on accident but it's work for them. So what you do is in gold season, you look for your customers. You don't, you guys, if you're working on rank, you worry about discount coaches, okay? If you're not working on rank, if you got your diamond, your two-star diamond, okay? The first thing you do is you get Emerald as a coach. The second thing you do is you get your spouse Emerald or your family member. Now you're making two checks or three checks, depending on where you drop your volume. Instead of that one check, you're making work in Success Club, all right? Those are the first thing you do. Your next thing you do is you get your business center to diamond. Then the next thing is you get it to two star, and then you abandon it. You leave it, and you go to your lowest business center. You don't go back up to your top business center until the volume catches it. Makes no sense to work it, okay? Look, at one time, I was the only five-star in the company. For a year, I was the only five-star, and I was getting big bonus checks. But I knew, I knew over time it would get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It did. So I changed my focus and said, you know what? I'm just going to work on volume. I'm going to abandon that. I don't care what my rank is as long as I can make multiple incomes out of multiple business centers. And that's what I did, okay? Let me just give you a quick story. And the comp plan was a little different back then. There was no cap on diamonds. We did this with my wife's business center, okay? But I'm saying right now, with the volume without the challenge packs, because we didn't have them, we just, we brought in about 10 coaches to her business center, okay? We helped those 10 coaches build volume. We did that all the way down. At one point, that business center was making close to a quarter of a million dollars a year with 10 coaches. Okay. I have never been one of those people to go out and recruit hundreds. I talked to Michael Neiman last week and he goes, we really just want you guys to recruit three. He even suggests to me, he goes, you guys need to get off this discount mindset. And I go, I'm already off. I'm telling people stop doing it. Get coaches and work with them that want to work. Keep everybody else a customer. Customers are going to make you more money. The only thing you're getting when you're changing them into a coach is points, and you're losing your, 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 your money. You're getting on your income to get a hat, to get a shirt, a guitar, and a walk across the stage for half a second, okay? Get three people a month that you can work hard with, and then find people in your downline who are working it, and and go hard with them, help them. Even, it doesn't matter if they're your PS. It matters if they're doing volume. The only thing that matters on PS is your matching bonus check and your rank. That's it. That doesn't make you money. You know, matching does. I make a lot of money for matching, but find the people working it. We got what we call pushers. Oh, we have a couple tricky names, but people that are high recruiters, you wanna work with them, and people pushing high volume, you wanna work with them. Find those people, okay? And they'll pop up and they usually drive you crazy. All right. Because they're like, wah, wah, wah. and you're like, God, oh, not another one. But <laughs> remember, and as you make more money, time, 
Time is the most valuable gift you can give them. So don't give your time away freely. A lot of you guys spend so much time with people, it's ridiculous. And it's like, your time is the most valuable thing you have. Right now, you, some of you think it's money, it's not. You know, you're gonna get to the spot where you're like, I need my time. So don't, when people have to earn that from you. If they're not working, they don't get it. They get your mind. If you signed up, brought them into this company, they get resources from you, but your personal time on the phone, they gotta earn it. All right, so gold. Sorry if I'm making this too long. You guys, you can cut me off because I'm a, I ramble, so I can, so. You're amazing, <laughs> keep going. Can I tell you? Okay, I, you know what's funny is, 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 I used to go on stage and speak for everybody in the old days and, and, and they said, man, you are the worst speaker we have ever seen. But you sign everybody. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that works. So uh, I got stories, but I'll leave them for later. Um, so, it's, so we got gold. So back on track, gold is you start, don't gotta come in with challenge pack, you guys. And what's gonna happen when you do this? You come in with smaller things. How many of you guys can go out and sell a quarterly for $30. Think about a new coach's mind when they're coming in here saying, hey, chart, sell $200 packs to your friends. And they're like, oh, and then they get four points and they still miss Success Club because they need six. And you know, they're like, this hurts, and then they quit. Think about that little success that quarterly. How many quarterlies can, if you went out right now and just said, hey, I'm selling quarterlies, that's it. How many of you would have success? You don't have success. Or an energize or something like that. And then every month you sold something new to that person, okay? Because the reality is, the reality is, the average between customer and coaches staying on Shakeology is three months, two to four months, depending on what they are. So you're selling that bid package on the front, you're getting that residual for two months, and it's gone. If I have someone I can sell pieces to, I'm making more money because team volume, right? So that's gold. But I said, remember, we put blue in on gold. And blue, and blue happens to be our coupon, which is a challenge pack. So you went into the store, like Michael's or Joanne Fabrics or somewhere else, and they have coupons. Now you go there, they attract you with coupons. They're hoping that if you use a coupon, you buy other stuff too, right? So that will be blue season where we do that. With gold season, we just start with little stuff, little sales. If we can't get the sales, say, hey, you know what? I got a great idea. I we got these packs and I can save you all this money if you do. Then I sell a challenge pack because I couldn't sell them the little things. So now I want to go in with a challenge pack. And I'm saying, hey, I can save you money because everybody loves a good sell, right? So not only are you starting off with things that have more team volume to them, tied to them, and longevity of more sales. I had when we had the core vitamins, I had people on that for 10 years. People doing, and they're emeralds, and they're doing it out of three business centers. That's $150, $180 a month plus. At that time, it was $45 each, so that was what? 45 times three in team volume? Talk about volume, okay? So that's when you get them. I got a great deal, and that will be your coupon right there. Challenge packs are a coupon, all right? If I go blue season, that's where we just like we just came out and, you, and your leaders will call it out. They'll say, we got a blue season coming. Everybody get ready for a blue season. Blue seasons where we're leading with challenge packs because this is a coach loading season where we're going to even get discount coaches at this period because we don't know if they're going to be a good coach or not. This is where we're going to trade out that because we just want to take the risk right there. Selective risk. Okay. That's what we're doing. Everything's selective. Selective aggression and selective risk. So now we take selective risk here. And we say blue season, we lead with the challenge pack. And that's like, hey, guys, we got the sneak peek on this. If you sign up for a coach right now, you're here. But remember, we always coupon. The coupon in this is a goal. And that's the upcut, upsells in the share cart. So you send them the challenge pack. Hey, here's what you want. But also, I put this in your cart. You can take it out. Because that little energize or those protein bars or whatever, they're going to make you more team volume in the long run than that whole challenge pack. All right? But here's the trick. Where do you put them? Okay. Where do you put the purchases? Put them as low as you can. 
the only time you want volume in your top business center is to keep your rank. There is absolutely no reason to have more volume in your top business center beyond rank. What's a, cause you're only getting paid once on it. If you put it down, you're getting paid on it. You're getting the commission on it and you're getting the cycle on it. And then your spouse is getting paid on it. Okay. It's strategy, not emotion strategy. If you're tied to recognition, you're going to do everything in your top business center. Okay. You're going to get recognized. You're going to walk across the stage and you're going to say, wow, look at all these people walking across the stage. They're all girls. You know why? These guys don't do recognition. And then the millionaires club's going to come up and guess what? Half of them are men. And you're going to say, what, what's going on here? Why are all the rank six elite and stuff girls, but half of the millionaires are men? Men don't care about recognition. In general, I'm being very general. So it's not sexist, it's just reality. Okay? Just being general. There are some guys that want the recognition, trust me. But in general, okay? So that mindset's there. So know what's going on. When you go to Summit and you see this, you know what's going on. Here's what I want to tell you for you guys that are coaches right now that aren't an emerald yet. If you have not signed your spouse, you're in an ideal situation. Sign your spouse now and your family member, you plus two, okay? Get emerald now. You know why? You want to be emerald now? is because as soon as you get Emerald, you accure team volume. You start banking team volume. And I take this as a challenge to your group, your team, on your team page. I challenge everybody tomorrow morning, after we get paid, to go in and look at your team volume in your legs and post in your group how much team volume you have. Some of you guys have millions of dollars sitting there, you don't even know it. Some of you got $20. Look, when I was a teacher, I $400 a month was my goal, okay? 80% of everybody that joins every network, their goal is to make four to $600 a month, that's it. Only 20% wanna make more than that, okay? And only 2% actually take the action. But what you got in this company, uh, and it's the beauty of binary, is you, if you've hit Emerald and you're active, you're in a cure of that. The only time you lose that money is when you go in an active or a master flush, which you don't even have to worry about a master flush yet, okay? So that's it. If you're not emerald, the number one thing you want to do is get emerald. And when we signed coaches in the old days, everybody was emerald that night. You got a friend, you got a family member, they're signed, let's get them on the phone. Because we want you to incur volume because that's how you make money. That's how you make residual money. That's how you're going to cycle. That's the big money. Now, look, I make great money out of my first business center just because I had so many customers over the years. That, that check's a nice check, okay? But that's the small money. Residual money is the big money. Residual money is the money that you guys hear about when people say plant your seeds, okay? Plant your seeds, you're gonna have a harvest later. That's residual income, okay? So you're gonna do a lot of planning. What's gonna to happen too if everybody buys into the system is the leaders aren't gonna see a lot of change at first because what's gonna happen is those lower levels have to make their money first, those newer coaches, and that's what you want. You want a solid base. Those emeralds are gonna start making money. People are gonna start being reporting back and saying, look, we changed our mindset, we're hitting this, we're gonna start making money. Then your leaders, that's, they're just planting seeds because they know a huge harvest is coming and that harvest is pretty famine resistant, okay? So that's the beauty of it. So blue is the season. Your leaders call out blue. We're going into blue, something's coming up. Every challenge pack you sell, you have an add-on, okay? When we come out of that season, you're in gold. All right, you lead with small, small leads. Now, if you don't, if your team doesn't have charts, we'll get you charts. 
that shows volume. Okay, so we have we have all this written out. The next part, which I don't want to visit right now because it'll take too long, is working with our emeralds. Okay, and working with our lower coaches because we need them to keep coming. We and we you do that through team atmosphere. Okay, because there is no benefit. Let me take that back. There is no incentive from the company for long-term emeralds. So we bring an incentive that makes you guys, everybody feel like family. So that's the beauty of Beachbody, man. It's the best company there is, hands down, okay? I get recruited by every company because my name alone is worth a lot of money, all right? I started this, this was my idea, okay? So this coach thing, that was, I am coach. <laughs> Sad story, huh? but <laughs> you're like, oh God, you're hoping for something better. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. So <laughs> listen, there's gonna be up and downs in every company and we're in a transition period still, but this is an adjustment period. You have to adjust. Well, work before ain't working now, okay? It's working for some people. But there's something out there big, bigger and better than um, anything that's ever been done. And the beauty of this company, it's a billion dollar company. Beachbody is a billion dollar company. It's not going anywhere. They're investing heavily into it. As their networks start all these rumors about, oh, they got a secondary company. Oh, this company's that. It's all crap. Okay? It's all crap. Beachbody's solid. All right? What you need to do right now is invest in yourself and take action. Come up with a plan. And, and I challenge you guys too, if you didn't watch uh, Daniel Notoni's video uh, last night on the Champions page, watch that. She talks about 10 ways outside of social media to, to make money. So what we're seeing right now with some of these teams I'm doing, they're still doing a lot of the recruiting on, on social media, but they're coming off of it a lot too. They're using Voxer and stuff like that to do all their training, get their three, they're not doing challenge groups, a lot of them, they're getting their three people for the month and they're using Voxer, that app Voxer, which is just a, a walkie talkie app. And they're going live with their people because it's real time and it's also recorded. So a lot of them are doing that and they're working with, they're finding three people that are meaningful, that are business build, builders. That's your goal. In this business and network marketing guys, if you're focused on residual, you don't need a hundred good coaches. You know, our old saying is, and it has stand to be true. If you want to be a millionaire, you find five to seven good coaches, not a thousand, five to seven good coaches will make you rich. If you work in volume. Okay. So I think I covered what I could cover right now without getting too deep in other things, but I hope that helped guys. So, yeah, that was amazing. I was like watching people's faces as you were talking and watching their eyes get like the size of saucers <laughs> as realization starts dawning on them. Thank you so much. Of course, we are recording a bunch of you guys have been messaging me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, the one thing I want to say real quick too is, is don't believe me. Go look at team volume, break it up and challenge pack your chin will drop to the ground when you realize how much money you surrender not how much money you surrender for yourself but for your whole team each time you sell challenge pack. nothing wrong with selling challenge packs you just need to do it right you need to do it timely challenge packs are great perfect invention but be smart about be strategic selective aggression okay so selective risk you gotta you gotta be smart strategic don't throw your dice out there pick focus and take action so Okay. <laughs> any questions? Does anybody have questions? Anybody have any questions? For Coach, before we move on to the other stuff Nikki and I have to show you about our new group, this is your chance. Just go ahead and unmute yourself. Be brave. Don't even type. And don't hold back any punches. Throw punches. <clears throat> anybody? Nobody. He just answered all your questions. You fully get it. Asking, I think it's good for the sake of like hearing from your perspective. 
when you have uh, someone who is like you, you start them small, you bring them in with, let's say the $39.99 quarterly VOD, you start breadcrumbing other products to them, energize bars. At what point are you transitioning them to become a discount coach? Wait, wait. For one, if it's rank, I'm going to probably turn them into coach right away because I need my rank and I need my pay. Um, that's selfish, but that's true. And the second part is I'm going to adjust for them as an individual. I'm going to watch them. I'm going to fill them out. I'm going to help them. That's why we're here is to help other people. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell them about it right away, but I'm going to say, when you're ready, and I'm going to keep dropping those bombs on them. Remember, I don't need a lot of coaches. I don't need to sign them as a coach. Eventually I do. Eventually I want to, but right now as a customer, they're going to make me more money. Okay. Mm -hmm. When they're ready, you hear, here, here's the deal. Look, you look at, you hear all these stories on champions page and everything else you hear, you hear all these coaches come out and they say, you know what? I was a discount coach for two years before I started to make money at this. And now I'm making a million dollars doing this. What happened in that two years, that two years, whoever was their coach was throwing money away. They could have kept them as a customer. What's the difference? They can invite in and they can train. You, you do that. You care about your people. People that are working with you are going to work with you. They're not going anywhere. If they want to save money, they can save money too. I mean, it's out there. You're not going to hide it from them, but you're not going to force it down their throat either. You're going to do what's best for them. And that is designing the program, the products that fit their needs as they go. Okay. That's it. And and when they're ready to flip, you're going to know it. You're like, look, you're getting all this attention. You're losing this weight. I made all, look, I have one big part out, okay? I made walking billboards. I hope people get, get in shape, okay? Now, a lot of times, look, I'm really good at getting fat. <laughs> and, and my own fitness never had any impact on my income. But the fitness of the people I, I was helping absolutely did. And as because it hit their warm market. And as they're feeling better about themselves, maybe that's the time to come after them as a coach. So did that answer your question? Yeah. And Stephanie asked a good question that I think probably a lot of people are curious about is how did you lead your customers without being constantly running monthly challenge groups? Because, well, one, we didn't know what a challenge group was. <laughs> um, you just, here's the thing. You guys are caught up in a world of hundreds of people, okay? Our world wasn't that. Our world was a handful of people. And it's me, like, like I said, these people are now doing Voxer and stuff that are having great success. It's just dealing with them. You're still doing the same thing. It's just individual. You might, look, you can put like five people, you can put as many, I think you can do as many people as you want on Voxer. You do your challenge group, but now you're just doing it live on the phone. You're not burning yourself out. Here's the beauty of this system. Here's the beauty of this system. The beauty of this system is you can still do challenge groups and stuff, especially in your blue season. But when you go to gold season, it changes. So guess what? Everything you do changes. Now you're not fried on doing challenge packs all the time. Okay, now you have a chance that, oh, hey, it's gold, so thank God we're in gold. I don't have to do that stuff anymore. But you're going to take care of your people. All right, with customers too, a lot of them will get on that and just watch. You know, look, I think I had 16,000 customers, a handful of those. Okay, a handful of those I work with. Those is the same as the coaches. Those other customers, they're coming anyway because they like our product. We got good product, all right? Because they weren't paying $150 a month for Shakeology. They're paying $50 a month for their vitamins and stuff, all right? And, and, or protein bars. We, you guys should have saw our old protein bars. They were so horrible. Oh, my God, they're horrible. I wouldn't sell them to anybody. They're like, and I actually, when I, when I did stuff like that, it helped, I think, because people are like, hey, should I buy these P90X uh, protein bars? I go, God, no, they're horrible. They're like, you're not going to sell us your own product. I'm like, no, I can't, not with any integrity. It's crap, you know? So be honest and truthful with your people. Be selective. Your people that work with you, that you're actually helping, 
there, there's going to be a small group. It's going to be your tribe, your real tribe. Okay. Now don't forget all your coaches are duplicating and they're creating volume. Yeah. And you're never saying no to anybody, but there's going to be some that demand your time and some that don't. Your hardest job is, you know, you know what a leg hugger is, right? A lot of you guys are teachers. So you know what a leg hugger is. It's someone that like in kindergarten, what happens in kindergarten, if you're not a teacher, the kid that wants attention will go up and hug the, the, the teacher's leg. Well, they get laughed at by the other kids in first, second grade. They stop doing it and they start raising their hand all the time. They drive you crazy. So if you have a leg hugger, you got to learn to deal with those because they're going to waste your time. You got to learn to shake the leg huggers. You know, you know how many times <laughs> I bet I said, people, you, you know, if you guys had any idea how many times I said, you know what, you really need a new coach. I really don't want to be your coach. They're like, what? I'm like, nah, I, just, I can't do it. Uh, here, go to my friend who I can't stand because <laughs> I'm going to torture him. <laughs> and, and I've actually, I've actually called the cops on customers because girls get crazy too, just like guys, you know, girls get nuts sometimes and they're like, okay, I didn't expect those kind of pictures and <laughs> you can't threaten me and <laughs> drive up and down my street. <laughs> You know how good looking you get when you start making a lot of money? <laughs> you get really good looking. <laughs> anyway, any other questions? Sorry. <laughs> Everybody's just laughing. Okay, I think that was all the pressing questions. All the little nitty gritty ones, we're definitely going to answer for you guys. Nikki and I, um, are gonna share with you basically the answers to all those nitty gritty and what we're gonna do in our group. Um, Doug, you're welcome to hang out, but we value your time. We don't wanna force you to stay. So thank you so, so, so much. Can everybody thank- Thanks for having me. Yeah, hey, just say hi to me at some So if you go to someone, just say hi. <laughs> I don't have to stand in the corner by myself. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have like a bajillion Bye, this year. <laughs> Bye, thank you. All right, Thank guys. You. All right. Amazing, right? Everybody like, I know you guys are probably like, okay, wait. <laughs> like you're just going to be like sitting, like staring at the wall for like an hour. So let us help you digest all of this information. We planned ahead. You didn't think we were just going to throw all of this at you and be like, okay, good night. <laughs> Have fun. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to open another business mentorship group. It's called the Everybody Wins Strategy Group. Um, it's going to be for anybody who wants to be in it um, in the entire downline. And um, we're going to be covering all of this stuff. It's going to be a team volume focused uh, business building mentorship group. So we will still have our normal team pages. We'll still have the hub, um, positive. You guys that are here, you're still going to have your group. Uh, this is just going to be another. So like we've been saying, this is not meant to replace the, the way that coaching has been done. This is just another mindset shift. It's just a different way of doing stuff. So this is voluntary. If you watch this call and you're like, eh, you know, I really love recognition. I don't think this is for me. That is cool. There is nothing wrong with that. You can feel free to either keep watching out of curiosity or leave or whatever. This is all just to serve you. That's what this is for. We want every working coach in both of our organizations that wants it to make the most money they have ever made as a coach in 2019. That's why it's called Everybody Wins in 2019. If that is what you want, then come, right? If that's, if that's not, if you're like, you know, I love recognition, I just love dabbling, cool, whatever, like find your spot and run. We, that's why we have lots of spots. So let me tell you a little bit about this group. Well, how it's gonna work is we're gonna get everybody in now, we're gonna kind of like do foundational info, get you guys all up to speed, make sure everybody feels confident and understanding this stuff. And May is gonna be our first month. This is a bit of an experiment because Doug is very graciously helping us like he's been helping some of the other elite teams. So we're kind of still part of his, um, like beta testers basically for this system that he's invented. So let's do like a fucking phenomenal job, right? And like blow all the other beta testers out of the water. Sorry, I'm a little bit competitive. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this group and like he was saying, when you make this mindset shift, 
when you are in a season of leading with higher TV things, you are sacrificing corporate recognition when it comes to success club points, not everything. Like you will still get rank advancements. You can still qualify for things. You're just going to be sacrificing perhaps that monthly success club. It might still happen naturally for you. You might still make enough sales that are challenge packs or sign enough coaches that you never miss success club. And that's cool too. But that's the point is not whether or not you're chasing success club. The point is if you're being smart with where you're putting your volume and how you're getting customers started. That's basically the whole point. Um, so I know that you guys have tons of questions about TV and Nikki's gonna show you that in a second. I just wanna break down who this new strategy and group is for. So you guys can kind of like decide. Cause like he said, you have to decide, strategically decide and then take action. So you can't, you can't really dabble in this and dabble in the other system of challenge packs and challenge groups and dabble in this or your business is going to struggle. You have got to decide where your path is going to be, whether you're going to be somewhere in the middle and do both and just work more hours, like he said, because it's doable, you just have to work more. Or whether you're going to focus on team volume, focus on growing your income, or whether you're just going to focus on challenge packs and success club and all of that kind of fun stuff that goes with it. So you just have to decide, but you do have to decide. So I'm going to tell you the different things um, that this group is for, and you can kind of see where you fall. So this new group is for coaches who need or want to grow their income as quickly as possible. Cause this method is the fastest way of growing your income, unless you are a success club or unless you're a challenge pack sales prodigy. So for everybody else, if you're not a prodigy selling two to 300 points a month, then this is the fastest way to grow your income. The next coach that it's for is someone who is not recognition or coaches who are recognition driven, but they struggle to sell challenge packs. So if you're a three on the Enneagram, if you're a Ruby personality and you are like, I need to be on a leaderboard somewhere. I need people to know I'm good at this coaching thing, but you struggle to sell challenge packs. And so up until now you felt like a failure as a coach or it stressed you out or you got burned out or it gave you anxiety because you were like, why am I not good enough? This is for you because we are actually going to build in an entire new TV based recognition system just within our team. So you're still going to be getting recognized within our team. So everyone on our team is going to know how badass you are, even if corporate is not necessarily shouting you out for your high success club points. Um, coaches who would still like to focus on success club, but want to learn tactics to grow their income faster. So like we said, you can still toe the line and do both. We're going to show you how to do that. It will just, be a little bit more work and it'll take you a little bit longer. And if, if you're okay with the sacrifice of time to still be in the success club game, great. Like, absolutely. We're going to show you the strategies to be able to do that effectively. Anyone who um, is burned out with challenge packs and the challenge group model, this is great for you. If you are a coach that is like, I just don't know that I can do this forever and run a challenge group every single month of my life and have to focus on success club every single month of my life and have this feeling of stress every month when it clicks over to zero. Or maybe you had really great success in, in the past and you have no bad feelings, but you're like, I need to look more towards a future of time freedom. Like I just, I'm trying to build something where it doesn't require me to be there day in and day out every single month, you know? So this is for you then. All right, I'm gonna throw it over to Nikki who has like some of the most incredible, um, TV option examples for you that I know are going to answer a lot of your questions. So she's going to really show you what Doug was saying about paying attention to the TV and how that all works. Let's go ahead, Nick. Awesome. My Wi-Fi came back on. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I have some visuals for you guys um, that I just went after I talked to Doug, well, I didn't talk to him, but after I learned about his system, I wanted to break it down in my head and kind of see what it looks like compared to like, what we're used to. So I made these graphics. If you're not necessarily familiar with how our compensation plan works and like set team cycle bonus and all that, then it might be a little bit confusing. So don't get caught up in it. But I wanted to just share with you guys kind of like what um, I'm here. Hold on. Let me just share my screen. <laughs> okay. So at first I took an emerald uh, focused on success club 
leading with success club. And then I took an Emerald focus on, um, focused on, um, team volume. So these are the products sold. i this team sold, um, two, uh, ultimate portion fix challenge packs, which was 110 team volume. Whereas this team focused on two base kits. They already have a leg up on the other team because they have 180 TV. Um, this team did a bod annual challenge pack with Shakeology, which was 45 TV. And then this team did, um, a bod annual without Shakeology. So they have 38 TV, both sold energized, both have their husband or spouse on and beach bar. So that's 60 TV. And then both sold two Shakeologies or bought two Shakeologies. And so you can see already, there's like a little bit of a difference in, the TV. So no challenge pack sold on this team. Um, and this one was three challenge packs sold and they made less team volume. So everybody on the team made a little bit less money. Now these people are going to cycle the same, but they're going to have difference in carryover. And that's where it kind of comes into play when I did a diamond team. So they're selling a little bit more product. I'm not going to go into all this since we're like short on time, but I can share this, these, this with you guys, but none of these not, nobody on this team sold a challenge pack because um, I didn't focus on like upsells or anything like that. And if you do the math here, uh, this, this person, this team banks 235 more carryover volume points that will cycle the following week. And they had zero challenge packs sold on their team. So just focusing on those gold seasons and those smaller, um, not smaller, larger TV, but smaller like pack sizes, they are going to have more volume coming up through their downline and on their team, more people making money, more cycles than the team that was focused on hitting success club. So I don't know if those visuals kind of help you a little bit more where you can see there's different volume in different places. And so when, when Doug was talking about placing things lower, lowest in the downline, when you become two star, you get to open up a second business center, which you can put at the bottom of your downline. And then you're going to be selling these team volume packs and they're just going to roll up through the downline and everybody's going to get that. You know, if you sold an ultimate portion fix, they're going to get that 90 team volume. Whereas the challenge pack is only 55 team volume. So it really starts to make a difference and can compound and, um, like he said, you're not going to see it right away, but as you build and as you teach other people this, it's going to make a huge difference. So how are we, like, how are we going to keep track of this? How is that going to work? So we created a tracker for you guys that we're going to have in the group. And basically we're counting wins. And so I hope you guys can see this. I made it a little bit smaller so I could fit everything, but we gave you a list of like the highest team volume menu items that we currently have right now. So it can kind of give you an idea on certain things that you want to focus on. And this would be great too, if you are maybe wanting to talk about one thing, like in your Instagram stories one week, maybe you could focus on, um, you know, the uh, recover or something. You could say, okay, I'm going to focus on recover this week, talk about it a lot. And so you can, you can pick from this menu and then you want, we have a name for your customer. We want you to, you know, keep that customer's name, they're important. They, they're more than points. They're more than TV. So put their name, put what you sold them and how much TV that's going to accumulate for you. So you can sell three items from the list below or sell any three items from our total product catalog that equals 60 TV or higher. So we're, we're aiming for most of our sales to be at least 60 team volume points per um, transaction, right? And then three of those is a win. And so every week we're gonna like count our wins. How many wins did you have um, from this tracker? And we want you to also, and we'll have a digital tracker in the group too, that's just a little bit um, not at, so you don't have to share your screenshot of all this stuff. You keep, this is yours for you. And then in the digital tracker, you're gonna, we want you to keep track of your volume. So we want you to keep track of how much of that, that team volume you sold every week, and then you want to start tracking your left and your right leg volume because that's where you're going to see the growth. We also want to make sure you're staying active Emerald because that's going to help with your carryover volume. And then here's where you can put your win. So if you had, you know, go back to your thing, you could say, oh, I had six sales, so I had two wins. 
and you can put them in there. And so that way we can do some recognition and we can do some fun prizes and all that kind of stuff around that. Um, I see questions, anybody? Um, but this isn't a question, but I know there are some new coaches on this call and I, I think it's really important to mention that like, if you are a new coach and you are listening to this and you're feeling like, oh man, I'm at the very bottom right now, you should feel so encouraged because literally you have to understand that everyone above you, depending on where you are placed in the downline, if you have working coaches above you anywhere, any time that new coaches are added, any time that we are duplicating below us, these people are getting added below where you are right now. So just, just understand that you are going to win too. It doesn't matter where you are. There's so much potential for everything that is about to happen. Yes. And even if you, like for me, I'm built from a dead spot. I mean, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's up, it is, you know, you have to build, but you can build more strategically if no one's placing above you and you don't have to necessarily worry about a power light or anything. So there's advantages and disadvantages to placement in the downline. But like you said, Courtney, like it's, you know, it, it, if everybody's working together and on this system, it's going to grow fast and it's going to be like, you know, this compound effect. Yeah. Um, um, really quickly, I wanted to just, while you were talking about volume stuff before we get into anything else, explain how this is maximizing time for more income, right? So how many of you guys are busy? in your life and how many of you are like I would love to scale up my business but I've had this feeling where like I can't possibly give more time like I I'm giving what I can give and so I've been frustrated because I feel like I can't grow this because I can't get more time and I watch these other top coaches who are just working all day and I can't do that well, this system then is probably one that you really need to look into for yourself because here is a quick little math breakdown of how this works. All right. You guys know that now you know, if you didn't before, every product we have has a personal volume attached to it and a TV. I posted that in our chat a little bit earlier, so you can open that if you'd like. You might also notice that it has a retail commission, and you'll notice that the retail commission is not varying based on the PV or the TV. So here's the cool thing about that. It means that you're gonna earn the same retail commission whether you're focused on the PV number or the TV number. That money is still yours because you made that sale, right? So you're still doing that. But here's the thing. When you focus on the higher TV sales, when you focus on getting Emerald, because really this doesn't, you're not going to be able to capitalize on the true depth of this until you're an Emerald right? If you're not an emerald yet and you're focusing on this, the way that you'll see these victories is in those smaller wins right away. Like he was saying, you're not feeling defeated by having to sell these big ticket things. You're going to make more retail commissions, but you're not even going to be able to touch team volume. That's why he was saying it's so important for you to get to emerald and maintain emerald as quickly as you can so that you can start to let this grow under you and get a piece of this pie, right? Like, don't you want a piece of the pie? So, what happens when you are Emerald and you're using this plan? Okay, let's say I have a team of three people, right? Me and three people. A lot of you guys have teams with three, three people under you. And we're focused on Success Club. So we all focus on selling a challenge pack, let's say. The TV on a challenge pack, it varies based on the packs because we have a lot, but on average, 35, right, Nikki? 37, is that right? I think it's 37 TV. So when my three coaches each sell their challenge packs, I, as the person who's above them in the downline, am able to cycle on that 37 PV. So 37 times three. That's not that much, right? I mean, it's okay, but it's not that much. Now, if they sold the same product, but outside of the challenge pack, I'll give you a very clear example. Ultimate portion fix right now. That's, that's a pack that a lot of us are selling. The challenge pack, um, someone can look up the right numbers. Huh? The challenge pack is 55 TV. And the base kit's 89 or 90? 90. 90. Okay. The challenge pack is 55 and you're selling them Shakeology and the Ultimate Portion Fix, right? So you know, you've sold them that. You get 55 TV to cycle on yourself and that you're adding to the team, 
That's how I want you to think of this. I don't want you to think everybody above me. I want you to think adding to the team because that's really a more accurate way of saying it. So that 55 goes in. Now imagine if your three coaches just sold the base kit to everybody. That would have been 90 that you get that everybody on the team gets to cycle on. But wait, what if it was still a priority to go back and get those customers involved in more products? So the next month, maybe all of those coaches go back and they try and help someone with one more thing. Maybe one customer wants Shakeology because they're feeling better. Another wants to get a performance stack because they want to start doing the 21 day fix workouts. Another one might want beach bars to work into the plan. Now you've added all of that extra TV where in the challenge pack, you weren't even getting paid TV on the Shakeology that was included. I know this is a lot, but nod your head if you're kind of wrapping your brain around it. <laughs> okay, so this is where it tangibly starts to add up very, very quickly. Because how much do you need to cycle? 200 and 100, right? So you can see how if all of your coaches are selling something that's worth 80 or 90 TV instead of 40 TV, it starts to add up in cycles for you. 90 is real close to 100. That's a cycle if you're Emerald or higher. You make money off that. Now here's why this is called Everybody Wins. Our downline looks like this. For a binary plan, we have two legs. One, two. You have a left leg and a right leg. Nikki is at the top of Positude. I am at the top of Better United. There is two legs. And then there's like 8 million different places where all of you guys are in between that. But everybody is down on one side or the other, right? And that's the same for you. Every coach that you have signed up, every coach they've signed up, every customer you've signed up, every customer your people have signed up, all the way down. Plus, if you are on a leg that has a strong leg naturally, then every customer and coach that the other coaches in the downline on the same leg as you sign up all contribute to one of your sites. This is why Beachbody's binary program, like he was saying, is so incredible. And this is a true rising water lifts all ships. This is the most true rising water lifts all ships situation available to you as a Beachbody coach. Yes. We all rise together with rank. We all rise together with recognition, all that kind of stuff. But this one is the most tangibly true because you guys might be like, I'm at the bottom, like Courtney was saying, woe is me. But here's the thing. If you happen to be at the bottom of my right side, then every single customer or coach that I enroll down there contributes, if you're an emerald, to your, one of your legs volume. And... Every single coach I signed up from when I signed up to when you signed up that I put on that same side as you, when they sign up people, it also contributes. Are you guys seeing how crazy this can get? That's why you want to get Emerald as quickly as possible and you don't want to let that rank falter because once you do, you start to let that volume by all those people that are on that same side as you catch up. It starts to bank. That's what he was talking about. You want to open those so that it can start to accumulate. Yeah, you're still responsible for building your other leg and your organization and keeping your rank and all that kind of stuff, but why not open it up as soon as possible? Now, here's the reason it's a rising water lifts all ships. I sign you up. You go to the bottom. You don't have anybody under you yet, right? But you sign someone up. Now, they're on the bottom of me. Now, you've helped me. Now I sign someone up. Now they go on the bottom of you and that other person. Now I've helped you and your coach that you signed up. And we're all interconnected, right? And I know you guys are like, but what if I'm not on that leg? You're on somebody's leg, right? Like you are on somebody's leg. And if for whatever reason, the people above you quit and nobody's placing people above you, then you are the me in this organization and you get to be the one that starts this. And every person you bring on and every person they bring on, you guys are all interrelated. Like, congratulations, you have an incredible little pot of people right there. So that's why this is something that is truly an everybody wins situation. It's like he said, it's not just me and Nikki. It's not just your sponsor coach or the Star Diamond leader. In fact, we will probably feel the effects last out of all of this because it's going to be a trickle effect, right? But what happens when your emeralds start making money at emeralds? They don't lose their emerald rank, which means you don't lose your diamond rank. What happens when your emeralds start capping out at that 250 because they've been teaching their people to do this and now they have enough volume 
that they could be making more money. They're going to build their business up to diamond so they can capitalize on it. Everybody starts to rise together. Like he was saying, you really start to pay attention to those things. So you build until you need to move up in rank because you have the volume and you move up in rank and everybody rises together. Um, okay, Nikki, did you have anything else on this or should we talk about our next little section? Um, I actually think that... Um, oh yeah, he kind of talked about it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, I think we can wrap it up. I mean, it's already been an hour and a half. So I think uh, there's a lot of questions coming in about like spouse accounts and emeralds and stuff. And we're gonna get into all of that in the group and like strategy and stuff. We, we kind of just wanted to introduce you guys what this is all about and kind of give you an overview and let you guys hear from Doug because he's so awesome. So, um, but if you have like specific questions about like spouse accounts and stuff, then definitely come to me or Becca and we can kind of like guide you because everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different. And like Doug said, there's certain policies that we have to follow for that. And so, um, but we will definitely dive into that in the group because we want to give you guys all of the strategies. So, but I think that Becca, you covered it really great um, there with a wrap up. So um, I'm going to put the link to the Facebook group in the chat box. If you want to be a part of it, just request in. Like Nikki said, we're going to go over all of this. This was not meant to be a teach you everything you need to know to start doing this method tomorrow. It was meant to whet your appetite, expand your mindset a little bit. We don't want you guys to just blindly jump into this. What I want you guys to do is over the rest of this work week, go do your research. Look up the product catalog. Look up TV per versus PV. Decide for yourself what is your goal? Like, what's important to you? What do you want to do here? How fast do you want to do it? What are the sacrifices you're willing to make for the different things that you want? Um, because I don't want you just blindly jumping into this and then waffling back and forth because that's not going to serve the rest of the team and that's not going to serve you, right? We want everybody to win. You're not going to win if you're got one foot in, one foot out. Um, you guys uh, can, yeah, you can Google rank caps too and find all that information in Coach on the Office. We'll talk more about it in the group. So like I said, we have from now until the end of the month to get everybody who wants to be in it in the group. We're going to start um, going over a little bit more about that tracker, how recognition's going to work. Um, and then we're going to start teaching you guys more of the ins and outs using all of these insights and tools and stuff that Doug has so graciously shared with us. We have um, graphics for you for blue season versus gold season. For those of you guys that are visual that need that, we'll talk more about it. Um, yeah, people are raising their hand. Yeah, I'm visual too. I was like, I need a picture. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll talk more about all of that stuff. For now, you're welcome to request into the group. The tracker is in there, so you can go and look at that. Maybe use it as a little guide because all those high TV products are written in there. Um, the link to the product list is in the chat. So if you want that, grab that before we close out this call. You might have to scroll up to the top. You can uh, also Google Beachbody product list and it'll pop up. Mm -hmm. For And for what country you're into. That's the last thing I wanted to say. The tracker that we have right now should be accurate for US and Canada. If you are a UK coach, there may be a few products that have a slightly different TV. If we end up with a bunch of UK coaches in the group, I will remake them their own UK tracker. We don't have anybody, I'm not gonna do the extra work. So <laughs> I'm gonna wait and see on that. Um, okay, perfect. Does anybody, how's everybody doing? Did you hang with us? Are you completely like, is your brain, do you feel like you just took an SAT? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just checking the chat really quick to make sure nobody's like having an emotional breakdown before I close everything out. <laughs> All right. We are really, we're all emotional. We're really, really excited because I think that this is going to be a great piece that was missing for a lot of people. I think this is gonna be a great answer for a lot of people's businesses. And I think you guys, I really think there's a lot of you that are gonna kill it in this model. And I'm so excited to see you finally have a route that you can shine in and not feel like you're a square peg being squeezed into a round hole. Um, so we like, we are just so excited to, to open this up, have this opportunity, and then just literally get to celebrate everybody having just the most incredible business growth year and income growth year that they've ever had. And if you're a brand new coach, then 
why not start your career with a bang, right? The first year, best ever. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. I know it's 930. It was a late call. We had a lot and we will see you in the group and hopefully get all your questions answered. Bye. Yay. Bye.